Okay, so today's the fitness test for Harry and Will. Now, Will's carrying a little injury. He's just, he broke a bone in his foot. And um, so now it's really the first week that he's been back running. So he's not going to be pushing his run. Harry, however, is. Okay, and what we're looking at, the actual test involves a one mile run, which we have mapped out. Then when the guys come back in, they can have up to two minutes recovery should they need it. Then it's fly, five medicine ball slams, which have to be performed explosively. Five full press ups all the way down to the bar with the elbows in, drawing back through the shoulders. So I'll be watching every movement that they're doing. And if it's not right, then they have to redo. Okay, then it's five slams, five loaded squats, and again, they have to hit a certain depth. Five slams again, uh, sorry, it's 10 squats, 10 press ups, 10 squats. Then it's five dips, and we have to go all the way down so that the elbows are fully flexed at that point, come all the way up to full extension. And then it's five pull ups. Ideally, with the pull up, I want the kind of second rib touching the bar, but chin over the bar will do, and it's pull up, not chin up. Okay, so we're going that way on the bars, either upstairs or down. We've got the lights being changed over downstairs, so it's a bit chaotic in the gym as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> we're using an in-body scanner. Um, so what we're determining is how hydrated the guys are before they go off to do their fitness test, okay? It's one of the key things with using in-body. Um, I've done over eight and a half thousand scans, so I kind of know what I'm looking at to a good point with these scans. I'm gonna have a look at them when I've got both. Probably I'm 76 kilos. <laughs> like Christian Blumenfeld, but just not very good. <laughs> okay, so we'll look at Will's scan first. So the first thing I'm looking at, we look at skeletal muscle mass here. We have our normal ranges here. So he's closer to the lower end of the normal range, 33.5. Based on that, 31.7, 32.7, it's up, plus 1.8 kg. The first thing I then look at is the lower end of the normal range on total body water. And this is up, plus 2.1. Okay, that gives me a profile of how accurate this scan is, based on his hydration levels. If the water is lower, than the muscle mass. He's in a more dehydrated state. This is a relatively accurate scan based on the volume of scans that I've done. It gives him, um, obviously, you know, he, he, he works at a high, higher rate. So if we wanted to start tweaking his nutrition, which we haven't done for his performance, um, and he wanted to drop some body fat and potentially increase muscle mass, definitely increase contractile properties. So making sure his omega-3s, etc., were well balanced. Um, and his focus in the gym, which it is very good anyway. So he, he's learning how to contract. We could look at calorie goals and everything else within this. So this, so this is very helpful for this. But one of the first things for consistency for all athletes, triathletes, is hydration. So think of it as fuel, you're not going to be able to do 100 miles if your fuel tank can only get you 80 miles. And what we see a lot is people training in dehydrated states a lot of the time. Now, what this means is he's not quite as well hydrated. Ideally, we would want this up around 52. So he's not in an optimally hydrated state for the fitness test, which may... Uh, the test is 45 minutes long, so we'll see if performance drops at all but obviously he may need to take on the electrolytes and stuff as he's performing as well okay just gives you a bit of a figure the longer i work with the guys the more i get to know what is working and what isn't um apart from that so his mus his body fat mass is very low okay so, so this would make a slight difference so will has more reserves so when it comes to macronutrient cycling, these two could be on similar 
caloric goals, but they could be on very different macronutrient ratios based on what they're currently using as fuel, okay? Okay, so the fitness test the guys are doing today, they have a mile run, okay? And like I say, Will's just coming off an injury. So we don't, we really want to keep him in zone three in aerobic zone. He's just recovering, nice steady sort of nine minute miling. Harry is going to be pushing threshold to maximum zone. So we're going to be using the data from the Garmin's to make sure that we're pushing at the right level. Now obviously when we're in the gym, we're using an anaerobic workout anyway. Five medicine ball slams and we've got to try and create that little jump within each slam. They'll have a bar set up and with their press ups, they have to lower to touch the chest to the bar and push all the way up. Now I want 10 reps for multiple sets. If they get to the point where they have to drop to their knees or they can't maintain tempo, then the set finishes on that amount of reps. So for instance, let's say they get to rep nine and they're, uh, then that set's done there. Okay, we don't continue. Then again, five slams, five loaded squats and we use kettlebells in a front load. That's what the lads train with when they're doing their workouts and they know their kind of loading parameters for that at the moment. Again, five slams, five dips on our little Zimmer frames and they've got to come all the way down with the feet off the floor and I'm looking for that good shoulder position. I don't want to see this. I want to see this pulling down to the dip, coming all the way up to full extension at the top. Knees bend as they go down to the dip, knees straighten as they come up. Again, five slams. Then with the pull-ups, we're actually going to use a, um, a neutral grip rather than a pronated grip today just because of what's going on within the gym. Keep the hands up. Whoops, a little, not a nice little line. <laughs> and this is why Harry's a triathlete and a boxer. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Results here. So the consistency. So Will actually ran a lot harder than I was expecting him to be able to. Does everything feel okay? Yeah, I felt fine. Okay. So run one, 556, Harry 543, run two, 547, 528, run three, 554, 525, 556, 528, 559, 531. And we're going to have a look at the results on the Garmin. They'll print up their results in the video link so we can see those as well. And we're going to we'll see which zones predominantly you in. Which zones are you in, lads? Predominantly for the workout. Average, we're in 65. So, so zone sure four, zone five? Yeah. You should have the zones on there. I'll have a look for you in a second. Okay. Yeah. Then we went on to the workout. So we had the five medicine ball slams, 10 press ups. You saw how that was done again. With the press ups, we're looking at where the weight center is always. And not how most people do a press up on a slant there. I like to keep the weight center up and forward. Five slams, 10 squats. Their loads was a 20 kilo or 24 212s. When they do their lower body session in here, so their training regime um, at the moment is upper lower weights on a Monday, stretch and move on a Tuesday. Um, lower body weights on a Wednesday and then Thursdays generally stretch, stretch you're doing stretch and move okay stretch and move is very much a movement foundations it's great for your mobility for your flexibility and it's the real uh, keystone of everything that I coach down here okay so coming back to this the dips so I've put on the test here all this will be typed up obviously 5a all the a means is it was assisted 
Will knows he's not quite as strong in the upper body um, as would be optimal at the moment, but it gives him something to work on. And this just gives us a standard of where we are at at this specific time at the start of the year. So, but he maintained the assisted all the way through. Dropped off a little bit in the pull-ups. We got five, three, 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 but we got the consistency. So we just want to make up those extra few reps. Harry, consistent all the way through. It was pushing you towards a good nine out of 10 though, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, the dips were looking okay, but there's a few little tweaks we do want to make to those. And the same with the pull-ups, um, just for that general upper body strength. Now, we're going to go over to the boys. We're going to hear their thoughts on the fitness test and how it relates to what they do. Uh, yeah, grim. Not going to lie. Uh, but yeah, it was really good. Like, um, the aim of it was to mainly be at a threshold and I was at zone four for 90% of it. So yeah, really good. Um, like Tom said, there's a few things that we need to work on. But uh, overall, like it was, it was nice to have a good hit out, but I'm looking forward to dinner tonight. <laughs> I completely agree with everything Harry said. Um, it was very hard. McFlurry. Yeah, that's about <laughs> it, McFlurry. So that is the fitness test done and done. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. I would really appreciate all the support because it goes a long, long way. And just so you guys know, because I don't know if we made it too clear in that video, I'm not too sure, is um, I did five rounds in 45 minutes, or well, 41 minutes. We called it there because I wasn't going to get another round in. So yeah, it was, it was, that was really hard. That was really hard work. Um, it was mainly running. Like I did obviously five miles there at tempo pace. Like I was running sort of 320-ish, 315, 320 per case. Um, and it was a pretty hard mile loop as well. There was a lot of traffic. There was a lot of, uh, a lot of people walking on pavements, not looking where they're going, um, and a lot of pedestrians to try and weave in and out of. So um, yeah, it, it was a really good test, and we're going to retest in a few months or so, and that's going to be sort of really kind of towards the season. So it'll be really interesting to see how I progress over these next few months and retest again. I think it'll be really cool, and I'm going to try and squeeze out another set. So if I can get six sets in in 45 minutes, I'll be really happy. Um, but yeah, I just want to say a massive thank you to Tom for having us at the gym, Body Development. Please do check all the links to Body Development in the description below. Tom does a lot of content um, on the stuff that they do at the gym and all of the content is on YouTube for free. So go and check it out because he's putting some good stuff out there. Um, and if you want to become a member of the gym, just follow the links in the description below. Tom really knows his stuff. And I've also got to thank James Fletcher as well. Massive thanks, mate, um, because James James came out to do some filming for me and the deal was um, that if he did some filming for me I'd buy him a McDonald's breakfast this morning so that's what I did <laughs> and uh, yeah I think he enjoyed it very much so cheers mate and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.